Hello, uh, this video will discuss on traffic management system. The topics to be discussed include 2.1 traffic stream characteristics and flow trend, 2.2 speed analysis, type of speed and speed studies application, 2.3 density, headway and spacing analysis, and 2.4 speed, flow and density relationships. The common traffic parameters that are of traffic engineers' interest include traffic flow or volume denoted by small q, speed denoted by u or v, density or concentration denoted by small k or big D, and headway denoted by a capital H or big H. We first go into traffic volume traffic volume denoted by small q uh, traffic flow or volume is defined as the number of vehicles passing a specific reference point on a road section within a specified period of time traffic volume or flow count can be directional or, or all directions typical units for traffic volume or flow is uh, vehicles per hour or hourly traffic vph vehicles per day or daily traffic vehicles per year or annual traffic and so traffic flow data is usually collected to obtain factual data concerning the movement of vehicles at selected points on the street for example a annual traffic is to compute crash rates and also to indicate trends in volume b average daily traffic or adt and ev annual average daily traffic or AADT is to measure present demand and also to program capital improvements. Uh, C. Hourly traffic is to determine peak periods, to evaluate capacity deficiencies and to establish traffic control. We now do an example on average daily traffic or ADT. This, uh, the table below shows the distribution of traffic flow every day from Monday to Sunday. For example, on Monday, the average daily volume is 1,820 vehicles and so on. For So the total vehicles in the week is 10,010 vehicles. So the average daily traffic of uh, in vehicles per day is just 10,010 vehicles divided by 7 days which is 1430 vehicles per day annual average daily traffic or aadt is in vehicles per day per year aadt shows the distribution of traffic flow every day for the whole year or 365 days aadt is acquired by doing survey work twice in a year so normally in march and september so each survey will take a week with six months interval for example the aadt is a volume of traffic in seven days for the month of march plus volume of traffic for in seven days for the month of september divided by 14. this gives you the aadt which is in terms of vehicles per day per year Peak hour volume is the maximum number of vehicles that pass a point on a highway during 60 consecutive minutes. Peak hour volume or PHV is used for design of the geometric character of the highway, for example, intersection signalization and channelization, capacity analysis, and the development of parking regulation. We now discuss on traffic composition. Vehicular traffic consists of various types of vehicles, for example, in various sizes, performances, and characteristics. A vehicle is converted into an equivalent passenger car unit or PCU for consistency in interpreting road traffic performance, congestion, road geometry, and traffic signal analysis and design. PCU is defined as the standard unit measurement which is designed to give the effect of an equivalent number of passenger cars. 
This slide shows the PCU converter for different traffic composition for road sections in rural and urban areas. For example, for small goods vehicle and van, which is in second, second row. For rural, the value of a PCU is 2.0. For urban, is 2.0. For heavy goods vehicle and lorries, which is in uh, line, uh, line 5, for rural, PCU converter is 3.0 and similarly for urban is 3.0. Analyze row, the motorcycles for rural, the PCU converter is 1.0 whereas for urban, the PCU converter is 0.75. This slide discuss the calculation of a PCU. For example, the traffic flow of a rural road is 300 and 50 vehicles per hour. The volume consists of 200 cars, 50 medium lorries, 50 buses and 50 motorcycles. Determine the traffic volume in PCU. So for the answer, we have to multiply the numbers given by the PCU converter for each type of vehicle. For example, cars is 1.0, medium lorries is 2.5, bus is 3.0 and motorcycle is 1.0 so from uh, the traffic flow of 350 vehicles per hour it, we computed that it is equivalent to 525 passenger car units per hour what is the rationale of converting to passenger car unit or PCU we have this example Traffic volumes on a section of rural road during morning peak hour is 500 vehicles per hour and during the evening peak hour is also 500 vehicles per hour. Can you comment on the traffic flow conditions for both situations? For example, which peak hour traffic would you think is the busiest or congested condition compared to the other? So in the example given, it would be difficult for us to say which peak hour is representing the congested situation as both traffic volumes are equal in terms of vehicle per hour. Continuing on the example in the previous slide, if information of traffic composition for both peak hours are available as follows. For the morning peak or AM peak, 50% cars, 20% medium lorries, 10% buses, and 20% motorcycles. And for evening peak or PM peak, 30% cars, 25% medium lorries, 15% heavy lorries, 15% buses, and 15% motorcycles. Can you describe the differences between the two peak hour traffic in terms of traffic flow conditions? So, to find out uh, whether the traffic uh, the traffic flow conditions, let us express the peak hour traffic in terms of passenger car units per hour. Uh, that is, for AM peak, we convert the value into PCU. So the uh, the percentage for each type of vehicles is multiplied by the PCU converter multiplied by five hundred. Uh, 500 vehicles per hour so the uh, the, uh, the conversion into PCU is 750 PCU per hour similarly for PM peak we multiply the percentages with the PCU converter and then multiply with the 500 vehicles per hour of uh, traffic volume and we obtain 988 passenger car unit per hour so this shows that the evening peak hour traffic is busier compared to the morning traffic. We now go into the second to topic which is speed analysis. Speed is defined as the distance travel per unit time. The parameter is usually used to describe the quality of journey and the performance of road network in accommodating traffic demand. There are several types of speed. Spot speed, journey or overall speed, running speed, time mean speed, and space mean speed. Spot speed is the, is the speed, is the instantaneous speed of a vehicle passing a point on the roadway. 
if the data for a group of vehicles is collected properly results from the sample would represent the speed characteristics of the entire population of vehicles passing the site spot speed is given by the formula speed equals s which is distance divided by t which is time taken from point a to point b if the distance s is less than 100 meters then the speed measured is known as spot speed what are the typical use of spot speed first is to establish speed trends second traffic control planning to establish speed limits to determine speed safe speeds at curves to establish proper location for traffic signs to establish lengths of no passing zones to and to evaluate intersection site distance second third use of spot speed is for before and after studies the fourth use is accident analysis and finally fifth geometric design that is road alignments and stopping site distance we now discuss on journey speed and running speed journey or overall speed is the distance divided by the total journey time total journey time includes all delays due to traffic therefore journey speed equals to distance divided by the total journey time whereas running speed is the distance divided by running time that is total journey time minus delays that running time is the time that the vehicle is actually in motion so the formula is running speed is equal to distance divided by total journey time minus delays both speeds are usually as a result of travel time and delay study it is used to evaluate road performance we now do an example on journey and running speed uh, this question evaluate journey and running speeds for the following situation and interpret the result so there are five junctions the car is traveling from a to b which is eight kilometers assume total travel time including delay due to traffic equals to 32 minutes Assume delays at each junction, J1 equals 5 minutes, J2 equals 5 minutes, J3 equals 3 minutes, J4 equals 4 minutes, and J5 equals 6 minutes. So to calculate, uh, first we calculate the average journey speed, which is the distance, 8 kilometers, multiplied by uh, 1 hour times 60 minutes, divided by 32 minutes of total travel time this gives the uh, results in kilometers per hour which we obtain as 15 kilometers per hour uh, the next we calculate the average running speed which is uh, the distance 8 kilometers multiplied by 1 hour times 60 minutes divided by 32 minutes which is the total travel time minus 23 minutes of delay and this brings to 53.3 kilometers per hour how do we interpret the results since the journey speed is very much lower than the running speed the drivers along this road experience very heavy traffic flow and inefficient traffic control system at the junctions the road system requires improvements to increase the journey speed we now come to time mean speed and space mean speed time mean speed is the average of speed of total vehicles speed passing a reference point of a road section this uh, equals to the arithmetic mean of the speeds so time mean speed is equal to total speed of vehicles divided by total number of vehicles whereas space mean speed is the total distance a vehicle pass through divided by the total time the vehicle acquire therefore space mean speed equals to the total distance divided by the total journey time we now go into the topic of a density headway and spacing the traffic parameter density or k 
is the concentration uh, is the number of vehicles in a given length of roadway or lane that is the number of vehicles per kilometer it is also a common parameter used to describe road performance next we define headway headway is the time between successive vehicles passing a point uh, which is the s divided by the vehicles or the uh, number of seconds per vehicles this is given by the formula h equals to 1 over q or 1 over flow whereas spacing is the distance between successive vehicles passing a point which is the distance divided by uh, distance in meters divided by the number of vehicles therefore spacing or s is equal to 1 over k or density headway h or spacing now we uh, discuss what is headway and spacing are microscopic measures of flow as they apply to pairs of vehicles in the traffic stream these parameters are important in determining the number of gaps in a traffic stream for vehicles or pedestrians to cross and for measuring operation adjunctions therefore headway is measured in terms of time or spacing if measured in terms of distance yes. we now do an example on headway and spacing what is the average headway of vehicles if the traffic volume in a lane is 1800 vehicles per hour assuming there is no motorcycle in the system what is the average inter-vehicle spacing if the average vehicle speed is 60 kilometers per hour Therefore, the answer is first headway, H equals 1 over Q of flow, that is 1 times 3600 seconds divided by 1800 vehicles per hour. This gives you uh, the answer of 2 seconds. How to compute spacing? Spacing is 1 over K or density. To obtain K, K is Q over U or flow over speed therefore k is equals to 1800 vehicles per hour times 1 over 60 kilometers per hour divided by kilometer that is 30 vehicles per kilometer so as s equals 1 over k so equals 1 over 30 kilometers per vehicle times 1000 meters per kilometer obtaining the spacing of 33.3 meters per vehicle we do an, another example vehicles in a traffic stream move at an average headway of 2.2 seconds the average speed is 80 kilometers per hour estimate the flow rate and density of that traffic stream using flow q equals 1 over h or headway then q equals 1 over 2.2 seconds of headway divided by 3600 seconds equals to 1636 vehicles per hour then using q or flow equals uk then you have, we obtain k which uh or density equals to q flow over speed so the density of the flow k equals 1636 vehicles per hour divided by speed of 80 kilometers per hour giving a density value of 20.45 vehicles per kilometer we now go into the topic of speed flow and density relationships these slides so shows the relationship between flow speed and density these are the four equations give different uh, relationships the first one is q equals uk or flow rate equals speed times density the next is uh, the relationship between speed and density the second one the third one is with uh, the relationship between flow rate speed 
n density and the final one shows the relationship of speed uh, flow rate with speed uh, the first graph shows the U, uk or speed density relationship this is given by a, a linear equation u equals uf minus uf divided by kj times k or density so there are uh, this is a linear relationship showing that at zero density or vehicles uh, zero vehicles per kilometer you have a free flow speed of uf whereas at a jam density of kj you have a zero speed therefore the relationship is linear as given in this the next this graph shows the flow density relationship or qk relationship which is given by the formula q equals k multiplied by fine uh, free flow speed minus free flow speed divided by jam density times the density squared so this is a parabolic relationship showing the maximum theoretical flow qc which is equals to jam density kj multiplied by the free flow speed uf divided by 4 and at uh, at a, a capacity a density of kc which equals to jam density divided by 2 you can see there are two parts of this uh, this graph one is the stable and the other uh, which is uh, at the density of uh, kj divided by 2 and after that you obtain an unstable uh, flow at uh, beyond kj over 2 until kj or jam density this graph shows the density speed relationship given by the formula q equals u or speed multiplied by the jam density kj minus jam density kj divided by a free flow speed uf multiplied by the speed squared this is a parabolic relationship shown in this graph where you obtain a maximum theoretical flow uc uh, qc which is uh, located at U, uh, uf over 2 or the uh, speed free flow speed divided by 2 so the maximum theoretical flow qc is of uh, is obtained at free flow free flow speed uf divided by 2 this is a parabolic relationship we now do an example on the flow speed relationship traffic volume during a stable free flowing condition is 600 vehicles per hour with an average speed of 75 kilometers per hour estimate the average speed of traffic under congested situation for the same volume of traffic if speed and flow are related the maximum free flow speed for the road section is 90 kilometers per hour so to solve this problem first sketch the parabolic curve for the flow speed relationship or qu relationship we have the point q1 equals 600 vehicles per hour and free flow speed uf is 90 kilometers per hour so point a represent the stable flow region with the corresponding speed of u1 equals 75 kilometers per hour now, and then point b in this sketch here represents the congested flow for q1 equals 600 vehicles per hour to obtain the speed for point b which is u2 is given by the uh, by the relationship uf minus u1 which is 90 kilometers per hour minus 75 kilometers per hour therefore uh, the speed of u2 is 15 kilometers per hour so the average speed of traffic under congested situation for the same volume of traffic of 600 vehicles per hour is 15 kilometers per hour